Hello all, I am Shatabdi Acharya. In the previous lectures, we were dealing about hyloarenes, their preparation and their general properties, right? So, here we will start up take up their physical as well as chemical properties. So, in the first physical property, we will see the physical taste and smell. So, here physical uh, hyloarenes are generally colorless liquids with pleasant odor and are crystalline solids with characteristic smell. Okay, so it's not that important, so we just have to give it a read. Then next comes the most important part which is the boiling point. In the boiling point, the boiling point of monohydrogen derivatives of benzene are in the order iodo, bromo, chloro and fluoro. So as you can see the trend, from as we are moving from iodo to fluoro, the size of the halide ion is decreasing. So what happens when the size of halide ion is decreasing, bigger the size of the ion, more is the van der Waal interaction. bigger the size of the halogen group more is the van der Waal interaction so in case of fluorine sorry in case of yeah in case of fluorine what happens due to very small size of fluorine their van der Waal force of attraction between them or the London dispersion forces are very weak so they can be easily separated out and hence their boiling points are low but gradually as we move from fluorine to iodine what happens the size of the ions go on or the size of the halogens go on increasing so, as the size goes on increasing, the halogen ions are in closer ionic or van der Waal interaction in between them, among themselves. Therefore, gradually their boiling point increases. So, the boiling point of monohalogen derivatives order is this. Now, the boiling point and melting point increases as the size of the aryl group increases. Basically, as the mass of the like molecular mass of the compound increases, its boiling point increases it because Again, the van der Waal or the interaction in between them is higher when the size is bigger or the surface area is bigger. Therefore, it is very difficult for them to get separated and hence their melting point is affected. Melting and boiling point, they are elevated. Next is, melting point of para isomers are always higher than that of the ortho isomers because in case of para isomer, they fit into the crystal lattice better or they are symmetrical, they are more majorly symmetrical. Because of their symmetrical nature, they fit into the crystal lattice properly. As a result of which, separating them is very difficult. Or uh, meta isomers, yeah, ortho and meta as compared to them, the para one is higher, having the higher melting point. This is due to the reason that para isomers are more symmetrical and hence its molecular pack molecules pack closely in the crystal lattice. As a result, intermolecular and therefore great intermolecular force and therefore greater energy lattice, and it melts at higher temperature. Okay. Now, if I see the solubility, what happens Gener like generally uh, alkyl halides or aryl halides, they are very sparingly soluble in water because they do not have any bonding or the hydrogen bonding in case of halogen is very, very weak. Okay. So, they are sparingly soluble or nearly insoluble in water, but they are highly majorly soluble in organic solvents. If I see the density, then aryl halides are heavier than water. Their density follows the order. Iodide is again having the higher density because of greater mass than bromide and chloride. Okay. Now, if I see the dipole moment, then the dipole moment of haloarene lies as follows. Chlorobenzene is the least. Then it goes on increasing from chloro, bromo and iodo. Bromo and iodo, they are nearly having the same dipole moment. Okay. Now, <coughs> If I move on to the chemical properties of haloarene, the first thing they will undergo is nucleophilic substitution because there is a polarity in between the carbon and halogen bond. If I see the CX bond, the X is more electronegative and hence is delta negative. X is, oh sorry, carbon is delta positive. Now, this is the electrophilic center and it serves or attacks any other uh, like uh, nucleophile in its surrounding. Therefore, it can undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction readily. Okay, so if I see aryl halides are extremely less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction due to the following reason. Yeah, first of all, they are they can undergo nucleophilic substitution, but as compared to haloalkanes, then what happens? Their reactivity is lower because if I'm seeing the aryl group here, the lone pair in case of chlorines are associated or uh, like conjugated in resonance with the pi system as a result of which there is a partial double bond character developing in between the like benzene ring as well as the halogen item. So, the rate as compared to haloalkane is 
lower. So the first is resonance effect. In haloarenes, the electron pairs on the halogen atom are in conjugation with the pi electrons of the ring and the following resonating structures are possible. Okay, so carbon chlorine bond acquires a partial double bond character due to resonance. As a result, the bond breaking or the bond cleavage in haloarene is difficult than haloalkane and therefore they are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. Next is difference in hybridization of carbon atom in the CX bond. In case of haloalkane, the carbon atom attached to halogen is sp3 hybridized, whereas in case of haloarenes, the carbon atom attached to halogen is sp2 hybridized. So, as it is sp2 hybridized, it is more electronegative, so it will pull the electron cloud more towards itself, therefore making the release of X minus difficult. Okay. The sp2 hybridized carbon has a greater F character and is more electronegative and can hold the electron pair more tightly than sp3 hybridized carbon in case of haloarene which has less F character. Okay. Thus, carbon chlorine bond length in haloalkane is 177 picometer while in haloarene it is 169 picometer where which is shorter. Okay. Because of which the chlorine atom is more drawn towards the halogen uh, to the carbon ring. As a result, the bond becomes more and more stronger and cleaving that or breaking that gets difficult. Okay. Since it is difficult to break a shorter bond than a longer bond, therefore haloarenes are less reactive than haloalkanes towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. If, the, if I see the next property, then the instability of the phenyl cation. Of course, from the benzene ring, if the halogen atom I am removing, then it will go as X minus and a positive charge will be developed in case of benzene ring. So, initially benzene if you see stand alone it was a very electron rich species right. But if that kind of species is getting a positive charge on itself then it is a very it is a destabilizing factor. So, that is why the, the instability of phenyl cation is also one reason for which nucleophilic reactions are slower in this case. In case of haloarenes, the phenyl cation formed as a result of self ionization will not be stabilized by resonance and therefore SN1 mechanism is ruled out. Then is because of the possible repulsion, it is likely for the electron rich nucleophile to approach electron rich arenes. Okay. Like it's saying if the arenes, if I am saying then it is benzene on it, the X is there. Okay. So, here the benzene is in itself electron rich. Therefore, it will repel the incoming nucleophile for its attack. So, these were some reasons for which the substitution reaction in case of haloarene was getting difficult. Okay. But then uh, some of it will show substitution reaction although under very vigorous condition. But there are some notable reactions observed. The first one is replacement by hydroxyl group. If a chlorine atom or like chlorobenzene is treated with NaOH, then what happens? The HCl is represent, uh, like substituted by the OH group and we get a phenol. Now, if I see uh, nitrochlorobenzene, okay, para nitrochlorobenzene, then nitro group is basically an electron withdrawing group. So, what it does is it withdraws the electron density from the ring towards itself. Therefore, the electron density over this carbon chlorine bond is highly reduced. As the electron density is reduced here, then the chlorine atom can easily move out from its like bond or the force of attraction. Therefore, it can undergo the reaction to form or para nitrophenol. Okay, substitution can happen here. Again, if I see it, both the nitro positions, ortho and para, they are substituted, which is ortho para dinitrochlorobenzene. Then in that case, substitution will be a bit lot e like lot easier than that if I compare the above examples because here there are two electron withdrawing groups right. There are two electron withdrawing groups as a result of which the electron density on this carbon chlorine bond is further reduced. As a result substitution can be very very easy. Now again this if I see the tri nitro situation then simply by warming it with water I will get my uh, OH product. So the substitution can happen. So, the, <clears throat> the presence of electron withdrawing group NO2 at ortho and para position increases the reactivity of haloarenes. Okay. Next is electrophilic substitution if I see. Then what happens? Again, the lone pair in case of halogen, they are substituted or they are involved in resonance with the ring. Hence, there is a partial double bond character developing. So, due to resonance, the electron density increases more at ortho and para position than at meta position. 
and hence the electrophile is more likely to attack on these positions resulting in the formation of ortho para substituted product okay as there is an electron with donating group in the group so based in the ring so it activates the ring and there are electron charge negative or the huh, negative charges developing at the ortho and para position so if an incoming electrophile is approaching then it will be directed at that ortho as well as para position because of its electron density higher electron density okay so halogen atom because of its minus i effect has some tendency to withdraw electrons from benzene ring as a result the ring gets somewhat deactivated and hence the electrophilic substitution in haloarene occurs slowly okay as you can see here there are like active negative charges on ortho and para position so the negative charge or the electrophilic substitution should be like if i see this case only then what i can assume is then the electrophilic substitution reaction might be happening very fast but what happens chlorine has both the nature plus i and minus i also chlorine can donate electron to the ring the lone pair of electrons it can be conjugated in the ring as well as chlorine being more electronegative it will also be pulling electron density from the benzene ring so it has two counteractive effects because of those counteracting effects the electrophilic substitution becomes kind of slower in case of hello uh, like irenes okay so uh, like the hello uh, like substitution reaction which can occur is chlorobenzene when it reacts with cl2 in case in presence of anhydrous fecl3 which is again a lewis acid then what happens ortho para substituted products are formed and here the para product dominates because in case of ortho due to steric hindrance of both the electronegative group which are present at the closer proximity this uh, compound becomes more unstable okay and para because of its symmetry it is the major product now if i see nitration then i have to take the nitrating mixture which is no hno3 and h2so4 here what happens no2 nitronium ion is generated which is the nucleophile which again gets substituted in the ortho as well as para position and para position dominates sulfonation then it can happen simply in the presence of concentrated h2so4 where so3h is substituted at the ortho and para and para turns out to be the major because of symmetry next is important one is the friedel craft reaction okay in friedel craft the reaction there are basically two reactions one is friedel craft alkylation and the one is friedel craft acylation in friedel craft alkylation what happens one alkyl group is substituted and in friedel craft acylation one acyl group is substituted so basically what happens if ch3cl reacts with fecl3 then fecl3 as we know is a lewis acid so it has the property to take up cl minus it will take up ch3 it will take up cl minus to give you ch3 plus plus fecl3 fecl4 negative okay now this ch3 plus will be substituted in the benzene ring here at ortho and para uh, product where para product will be the major one okay now if i see friedel craft acylation then again one acyl group which is the ch3 co group is substituted in the presence of again lewis acid fecl3 and hydrous fecl3 and hydrous alcl3 also you can take so what happens here the acyl group ch3 co positive this is substituted where again para product is the major product next another important reaction is the fittig reaction where what happens if i take two moles of benzene halo benzene and i react with two moles of sodium in the presence of dry ether what happens two moles of nax is removed out then two benzene rings which i have taken initially they are joined end to end to give you a diphenyl situation and two nax is removed out here what you have to notice this ether has is playing two crucial role one is it is absorbing any water present absorbing traces of water if present and the second is directing the forward reaction so you might have be like might be thorough on how it has hygroscopic properties so it will absorb any bit of water in the traces of water in the surrounding but how does it direct the reaction in the forward reaction forward direction so see here what happens 
ether basically serves as an adsorbing medium where it will adsorb all the nax which is formed on its surface as a result of which what happened the product side will be like it will become lesser the concentration on the product side will be lesser and as per lee shatlier principle the direction in which concentration is lower the reaction will proceed to that direction so as in the product side the concentrations are lower so the reaction will basically proceed in the forward direction and more of our products will be obtained like more of diphenyl will be obtained okay so this was some of the chemical reactions these are all the chemical reactions which halo arenes was showing in this video i hope you understood the mechanism of the reactions in the next class we'll be taking up another module till then thank you so much for watching